as you are clicking on this video, you are wondering what in the world is going on with these apostolic Pentecostals? What do they believe? And that's exactly what you asked, and that's exactly what we want to answer. What is up everyone, Adriel Usa here with Yappa238.com, Yappa238 standing for Young Apostolic Power in Action. And as you are clicking on this video, you are wondering what in the world is going on with these apostolic Pentecostals, what do they believe? And that's exactly what you asked, and that's exactly what we want to answer. So again, Yappa238, Young Apostolic Power in Action, Young Apostolic Power in Action. So this is going to be the video that you want to stay on and watch completely through, because this is an apostolic channel, talking to young people, apostolics in general, and those who want to learn about apostolics, about what apostolic Pentecostalism is. So, you're in the right place. Young apostolic power in action. Young apostolic power in action. This is where you're at, and this is where you're gonna wanna be. Okay, cool. So, let's jump into it. So first, and one of the most fundamental doctrines that we have to address when asking the question, what do apostolic Pentecostals believe? Very first and primarily, we believe that God is one. Jesus is that indivisible God. God manifests in the flesh, and the Holy Ghost is the spirit of Almighty God living inside of us. We do not believe that there are three distinct persons, we believe that there is one who manifests himself in multiple facets. Like 1 Timothy 3.16 says, God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, sin of angels, preached to the Gentiles, believed on this world, and received in the glory. Now there are literally hundreds and hundreds of scriptures to support the understanding of the oneness of God, but we're not going to go through that in today's video. The reason being is because we want to keep this video nice, condensed, because we just want you to know the main bulk of everything that we practice as apostolic. So that is the first thing, the first fundamental and core doctrine is that we believe in one God. Second, next to that, is going to be that we baptize in the name of this one God expressed and given to mankind. That is the name of Jesus Christ. We understand baptism is essential and the particular formula that's used is essential as well. And the formula is the name of Jesus Christ as we see all throughout the book of Acts, the actions of the apostles, and not only that, what Jesus teaches and commands his disciples to do. Matthew 20, 19 is a perfect example of why we baptize in the name of Jesus because we understand Understand that Jesus is a father. Jesus is also God manifest in the flesh, the son, the fleshly nature of Jesus Christ. And then we also know that Jesus is the Holy Ghost. His spirit is alive in us when we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So that is number two, that we baptize in Jesus' name. Number three is that we believe in the Holy Ghost evidenced by speaking other tongues. It's something that was within the New Testament. Not only were there saints that were converted in the book of Acts that spoke in their tongues, but Jesus' mother spoke in tongues. All Jesus' disciples spoke in tongues when they received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Ghost. And so we as apostolic Pentecostals understand and believe that when you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, you will speak in tongues. And now that is not just an understanding that we have, but a lot of other denominations and organizations have that same understanding to where when they receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, they actually speak with tongues as well. The supernatural sign that you have the gift of the Holy Ghost. And so it's not just for apostolics, but we do practice it as apostolic Pentecostal. And the name Pentecostal is synonymous with those who believe in the day of Pentecost and have received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, that's the third thing. Now, the fourth thing on the list is that we adhere to Bible teachings that keep us separated from the world, okay? I recently had the opportunity to listen to someone teach regarding rules and regulations and confines and restrictions and how we think in order for us to be free, we have to have no rules. And nowhere is that really true because if we're gonna get anything done in any type of way, shape, or form, we have to have limitations and blinders to focus us in a particular direction. So when our focus is heaven, we need these like tunnel scoping bills, you know, like the horses had when they would draw the carriage and stuff like that, we need those in order to know where to go because there's a billion different ways for us to end up in a billion different spots in life, but there's only one way for us to make it to heaven. Because of that, we adhere to what we call holiness standards and standards of separation, which means we just don't participate with certain things that the world does. For example, really nilly fornication, sleeping around with people and doing that number. We as apostolic Pentecostals don't do that. And the reason why is because it is taught within the Bible and we are given those laws and restrictions and limitations, like quote unquote rules. Oh, no! Rules? Yes, we are given those in order for us to be victorious living here on earth and also to make it to heaven. So that's just one example, but there are many facets within our lives that we adhere to a Bible standard that separates us from what the world does. And so when you're talking to an apostolic Pentecostal, you'll find out that they have been kept from a lot of things because of the Bible-based standards. Now, you should be able to see this in their conduct. You should be able to see this in their life. You should be able to see this when they show up and are present in whatever circumstances 
situation. It's an internal thing, it's a heart deal, and then that heart deal, because you get so in love with Jesus, it begins to come out on the outside. And that outside is what we would call holiness standards in reference to dress. And so you're gonna see a lot of apostolic ladies dressing differently than worldly female counterparts, and same thing with the guys. You're gonna see a, not just a separation in their conduct, but a separation in their dress, okay? Which brings me to number five on the list, and that is the outward holiness standards that apostolic Pentecostals adhere to. So what you're gonna find is that our young ladies wear that which pertains to a woman, okay? And for millennia upon millennia, it's been skirts, it's been dresses and things of that nature, not pants or shorts and things of that nature. You also find that our ladies have uncut hair. The reason for that is because of the teachings found in 1 Corinthians 11. If we're gonna be Christian, we do our best to do exactly what the Bible teaches. I mean, it kinda just makes sense for us to follow the book that teaches us how to get to heaven, right? So that's our main goal and that is what we're going after. So outward holiness standards, you're gonna see us dress and doing a little bit different than everybody else around us. So I hope I kept this video rather short, okay? I didn't want to prolong anything. I didn't want to talk too long because on this channel, we have just so much stuff regarding apostolic Christian living that it is absolutely ridiculous. I think we have 240 videos as of now and probably within the next two, three, four, five, seven months, we're gonna have a close to 350. So with that being said, subscribe to Apple 2 today here on YouTube so you can get the weekly content that we deliver every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're wondering more about apostolic Christianity beliefs, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for the Monday doctrinal videos. If you wanna know just how young apostolics are living, you're gonna wanna watch the thoughts of the day, the TOTDs. That's gonna get you a glimpse into how we operate our MO, our modus operandi. Follow the Apple 3 on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Plus, and Google Play. You know why you wanna follow us on all those social media channels? Because every single day we're bringing apostolic content to you. And if you really wanna get an understanding about what we believe, just chill with us for a little bit and we'll teach you the ropes. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's ropes right there. Anyway, okay, so that is the end of this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please like it. Just if you found it informative, if you learned something, like the video, okay? Also, when you go to those platforms, especially Instagram right now, we're rocking every single day on IGTV, Motivational Morning Minute, whatever we're gonna call it, Triple M. That'll be tight, Triple M. Hey, Yappa fam, comment below if you like the Triple M. Join the Yappa fam on Facebook, the Facebook group. We got TYBC going, the Yappa Sock Book Club. We got the Yappa Today audio experience, the Yappa Sock podcast on those as well. I just got to tell I'm pretty stoked about all this stuff that we're doing here on the Apple 238. I love you guys. If you're not apostolic yet, just chill with us, hang with us, get our mind and see how we interact with Jesus and how that can bless your life as well. Show us some apostolics that you know. If you're looking for an apostolic church, hit me up. Comments down below. I'm happily, readily available to point you in a lot of different directions because there's a lot of different organizations and a lot of different churches everywhere that are apostolic Pentecostal that will get you what you're looking for. Now, I think that's the end of this video. I am going to now see you guys later because I kind of don't know what else to say. I think this was a pretty good video, pretty good shoot. So anyway, okay, love you guys and I'll see you guys next Monday as you subscribe to the channel so you can be here for next Monday's doctrinal video. Love you guys, God bless, in Jesus name. Let me get out of here with my young apostolic shirt. Wait, no, excuse me, young apostolic power and action shirt. Okay, goodbye.